Okay, today I'm just going to talk about the Linko DX10. I do have these on my website. They're just shown in stock configuration. This is the first time I've actually had a quick second to check one of them out. So I'm just going to go over what I found um, briefly. So I do find that they are about a 25 watt radio on SSB. Which I will show you guys the book really quick here. This is the, the book. And this is the power output 0 to 25. So that is ideally true for this radio. Um, kind of a lower powered SSB radio. It does shine on AM a little more. So RF power is here. That's all the way up. I'll just come over here to the watt meter. We'll look at the bird today. This is a 50 right in the middle. This is the uh, EMS 70. This is a Linko factory electric condenser powered hand mic. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, check, 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 one, two, one, two. So it may be even a watt or two under 25, but it, it'd probably be more accurate if I reached over there and grabbed my 25 watt element. So we're just testing at about half scale, which honestly isn't going to be as accurate as the 25. So, but it's close enough. So that's what I find on sideband. Now on AM, this is what we usually come out with, or at least what I came out with so far with this. Um, let me come over here to the coaxial dynamic. I have the 10 watts on the left there, so that's on. And. It's about 8 watts carrier. Come back over here to the bird. Again, this is 100 watt scale. 1, 2, or I'm sorry. This is a 50 watt scale. This is a 50 watt scale. So we're reading on the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4. Check, check, check. 1, 2, 1, 2. So a little over 40 depending on what word we say and all that stuff. So about 8 watts to swing in just a little over 40. So maybe this radio might be a good option for someone I'm lowering the RF power now as I speak um, this radio might be a good option for someone that wants to run something that requires you know I'd say around this range of drive which probably some of those bigger I think so some of those bigger RM Italy just style uh, MOSFET amps they, they need about like like this much drive or something which uh, this is easily able to do just by you know aligning it accordingly so it does have a very uh, nice modulation waveform on the oscilloscope and on SSB it has a nice two-tone waveform as well you just have to uh, I found that I had to use a little bit different uh, two-tone uh, setup on this radio than others so I had to find the right two tones to actually make the radio show a nice waveform otherwise it just didn't show really much of anything so these radios I think are uh, a little bit different in the sideband output section than what most would be used to so they're a little less power but there's nothing wrong with that I mean it's, it's still a nice radio and uh, receive is pretty good on them I would say it's on par with like the Anytone Quad 6 stuff like that Lincoln 2 Plus it's going to have about the standard receiver like those um, the circuit board is adjustable it has all the adjustment points on it and stuff so it's not a newer board and what I can show is the transmitted frequency here on the frequency counter. So let me show that. I have the right microphone. So I just did like a brief alignment on it. So it's pretty darn close. I mean, again, unless you're running something newer with the new board, this is typically what you're probably going to see, sometimes even worse than this. When you're running something, I don't know, anything that has those crystal oscillators in them and stuff, they're going to always slightly drift. So this would be more than acceptable in that situation with any radio that you're going to find. So um, let me show you guys too. So when I was peaking around that 30, 35 mark, I was dead keying about 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the bird again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Check, check, check. 1, 2. So... As long as your amplifier could handle like a 5 watt dead key or something, it probably would work. Now I could see about lowering it. 
a little more. There's about two and a quarter right there, so if you lower it down a little bit, of course the radio does a little bit less. So one, two, three, four, check, 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 one, two, now it's about 20, 25. So not saying that you always have to run everything extremely to the max. I mean, this would be perfectly fine, I think, to run into something like that. You can just do a little less power. Again, unless you're quadrupling your power, the little bit of 20, 30, 40, 50 watts really doesn't mean a whole lot. Unless you just like staring at the watt meter and seeing more power on it, then I guess it does. But uh, I don't look at it like that, never really have. So let me shut that peak kit off. It's a big no no to forget to leave those on. And then I'll show you guys the sideband transmitted frequency on these. These are a little different. Those of you that have probably had maybe the DX135 Alinko back in the day probably would be really familiar with this. Um, or maybe you had one of these yourself. Let me put this in the sideband. Okay, there's our sideband transmitted frequency. So it's a 1 kilohertz tone, so it's going to be about. 27384000 is what we'd like to see. So that's perfectly acceptable. Now this does have the uh, receive transmit uh, shift ability. So we, I mean, I could easily correct that just by doing that. And then that would be perfect. And if you looked at the radio, this is what you would see right there. Now when you unkey it, of course it's going to go back to zero so if you needed to clarify someone else in on your end you could do that like say they're right here or something then when you transmit you're going to still be there so that's kind of how that works you can change that if you want in the menu you can make that receive transmit together if you wanted to do that but then you know you're going to be off frequency I guess going to the person or ideally not depending on you know how well your radio has been aligned but if you're getting one from me I'm going to align it to the best of my ability transmit wise and you know the radio is going to work the way it's designed it may drift a little bit there's no reason to really sugarcoat that or lie about that um, that's why I've really started promoting more of the newer boards because they really don't drift so I find that they're just better in that sense but there's still nothing wrong with these. I'm actually keeping this one for myself because I do like it. And it's going to be one that I'll use from time to time. Maybe put it out in the mobile or something and try it out. So I have no problem with the uh, design or anything. These kind of reels have been out for a long time. So I'm just adjusting that back. So I can quickly show you guys the two tone. Just let me uh, lift the camera up here. So I'll show you the two-tone on sideband. Get that set up. There we go. Let me zoom in. That's the wrong one. There you go. So that's the two-tone right there. Looks pretty good. Again, if you get crazy and start adjusting those uh, adjustable points in there you can make this thing get very nasty and it will do a lot more power but it will not look like this so my recommendation is if you get one of these um, and you don't uh, you know you could buy it in the stock configuration right now if you want because honestly I really haven't had time to put these on the site with the alignment feature I'm just showing what they're capable of doing right now um, and if you go in and crank them up and yell audio on your mic or whatever you decide to do, it's going to get very nasty. It will not uh, come out clean looking good like this. So just a word to the wise there. And as long as someone, maybe you know someone or use another business maybe that can do that, that's fine. If that's what you choose to do. This is AM. Again, AM is where these kind of shine. I was really surprised to see that. We got about 220 there, 220 or so. 8 watt carrier. There's our waveform. Let's 
see it enlarged a little bit. It's really good. Really good audio. It's doing about 30, 35 watts peak on the bird with the tone right there. Three, four, maybe. See the little red lights on. I'm gonna kill that right now, though, just because I don't want to forget. I already had to change both batteries on both of these peak reading meters this week. What a pain! Um, this one just went dead from use. It's you can't really forget because it's got the light on the front. But the bird, even when it has one of those, knows how easy that is to forget. It's a real major pain when you come in and you forget. So one of these days, I do have some. Um, <clears throat> I do have some. Um, 9 volt battery like extension wire and uh, B blood that a lot of times he comments on some of my videos and stuff and we text each other sometimes back and forth on the phone and stuff because he's a good guy down in Florida he told me about what he did he showed me some pictures what he did to his and it was really smart he extended the wires out put some two side tape on the back and got the 9 volts right on the back so that was smart because man I just hate taking those screws out and you know, the batteries, how they sit in those little posts, it's, it's just a pain. It would be much easier to do what he did. And maybe one day I will do that. So so that's kind of where we're at right now with this DX10. just wanted to show what they're capable of. And uh, when I get a chance, I will offer these on the site with an alignment. If someone chooses to buy it like that, great. If you don't, I'll still have it on there in the stock configuration also. So... Uh, either way is fine with me. If you buy it in stock, I'll still make a quick video showing you how it works. Uh, there is no secret to the alignment. I can show, or I'm sorry, to the conversion. It's just the basic uh, hold these two buttons, turn it on. If you go to one band, that's how it'll come. That's just 10 meter. If you go to two band, hold the function, reset. That's it. So. It does reset the radio, unfortunately. So now, like that beep and stuff is on. So you have to turn you have to turn that stuff off. How do you? I think it's function beep. Yeah, function beep. Turn that nasty beep. It does have some colors. Seems like the camera's kind of making it look like it's moving, but it's not. It has that this protective film on it. I don't know if that's doing that or not, but it's it, whatever you're seeing on the camera, if you're seeing like it looks like it's scrolling, it's not doing that in person. There you go. That color is showing where it's not doing it. Certain colors I think don't show up well on the camera. You can do the color like change kind of thing. Maybe it was just the way the light was hitting it. I'm not sure, but it's not doing it. Now I'm looking through the viewfinder, so. So yeah, if that's something to interest you, I do have four of these available. Um, again, the alignment, I just don't have it. I don't have it on the site yet ready to offer the alignment. Uh, the size of these, really quick, is just show that they are smaller. And a lot of other radios they're a little wider too so the width is about six and three quarters from the back of the heat sink to the front right to the like front lip of the radio is about eight and a half if you took it out I guess to the front knob um, it's probably I would say nine and a half which probably a little longer than what it is but just to be safe and then the, the height of the front of the radio is about and I know you guys can't see this really but let's see it's about I don't know like two I'd say two and a half or something high. So it's not a very big radio. This would fit good in like a mobile setting, something like that. Um, it is a standard like P6. So like you're on a mic tester, it would be the Magnum. Like if you have a mic tester from 
I don't know, Workman or whoever makes them. They're probably made under a bunch of different names. But it would be the Magnum setup, which I call P6, which is like your President, your Quad 6 Anytone, um, Unit and Bearcat 980, stuff like that. So, like, you can use an adapter, something like this. You can adapt it to 4 pin. That's what I've done. And then I can plug in, like, my KPO here, and M532 and use that if I want to now. Again, these radios do have that um, voltage coming through the mic jack to the mic. So, you know, first couple times you key up, sometimes you do hear that pop sound, but it does go away. And uh, just be aware of that. I think what that is is this, that voltage uh, coming into the mic. But again, a lot of you guys are running other mics on like the Quad 6 and Radios Lincoln 2 Plus. I mean, you may not be running this mic per se, but you might be running a different mic in general. Well, that voltage is always present on the mic jack on those radios, and it's always going into whatever microphone you have. So I've never, like I say, I've never heard of anyone having a damaged radio or damaging their microphone from that. So that's just something to keep in mind. It would be nice. If they would have put that feature in these older radios where you could shut that off with the dynamic setting. Um, but unfortunately they didn't. So I can show you guys with the KPO mic here what it uh, it still works just fine. So this is AM. We're here to the bird again, 50 watt scale. Um, One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, check, 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 one, two. You actually get a few more watts of consistent power with this power mic because it's just holding the, uh, it holds the peaks a little bit longer. It has a little bit more audio than that factory mic. And if I turn it up to about halfway or so, that's about the mic halfway. So you can see it does do a little bit more. Uh, the modulation is a little bit uh, more, it has like more depth to it, I guess, with this mic. So check, 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 one, two. So that's something to keep in mind um, SSB here's SSB 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so still about 23 to 25 watts or so of output hello hello check 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 1 2 so that's pretty much it that's the uh, Olenko DX10 from my perspective here so 7 3 everybody take care happy holidays